What's going on, Diggle Dreamers? My name's Mathras, and this is Classy Friday. We are playing RU because RU is my favorite tier, and it just got a lot of cool tier shifts. So, I got a Noivern on my team, as you can see, which is not has not usually been an RU Pokemon. It's usually been a pretty prevalent UU Pokemon for a long time. But it did fall out of grace in this past month. So, it did fall down into the RU tier. Which is why I'm using it now. Because it's awesome. And here we go. We already got our first battle. Oh, I hate Sigalith. <laughs> I see one immediately. Uh... <clears throat> But we can lead with the Q Hound here as our standard lead. He's got a uh, taunt for other leads, and he's got spikes and toxic spikes for setting up on other teams. So I'm just going to taunt this thing because I'm sure it's going to want to stealth rock and or glare. So that'll be good. And I see. No, I see this rapid spinner actually. So I think I will toxic spikes first just to poison that thing. That uh thing. In comes the Aku Aku, which I hate a lot. And I want to try to trick it actually. I'm just going to try to do that immediately as soon as I can. Okay, just goes right for air slash. Is he offensive? <sighs> you know what? Maybe I should just click Shadow Ball now. <sighs> this thing's fast. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I'll just click Shadow Ball now. Just to see. Okay, he does pull the switch into his Scrafty, he gets poisoned, it's nice. But he has Shed Skin, okay. Yikes, this is not a good position for me. I can go back into Q-Hound though, honestly. Intimidate him, and take up probably the knockoff that's coming. Or the bulk up. Um, taunt. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> we did not see that coming. I can get up another layer of toxic spikes. So that way, when the Hitmontop does come in in an attempt to spin, I will be able to toxic it. Meanwhile, I will set up more spikes. I think I'll hold on to this. Will I? Yeah, let's go into Peaches real quick. See if we. Uh, he's not going to go for a knockoff again. Yeah, he goes for Drain Punch that time. And he's a plus one defense, and his taunt just wore off. Well, I'll just click Sacred Sword anyway. Might give him a switch into the Sigalith, or even the Hitmon Top. Or even the Delphox. Oh, he goes into this thing. And... I do take rough skin rocky helmet. And he's probably gonna get his rocks up. Damn, I should not have let Peaches get that that damaged. Because it does help me out a lot against the Scrafty and the the Jellicent. But I think we'll we'll manage. Yeah, I'm not playing this the way I should be. But oh well, you know. Let's taunt him just so he doesn't have the chance to get his rocks up. Since he didn't choose to go for it there. But in comes this thing and we get to taunt it, which is nice. Um <clears throat> I'll go into Foxy. 
and take whatever move I think he's gonna, probably going to go for. And then I'll try to knock off just to see what, what kind of thing we're dealing with here. It might be Life Orb Magic Guard. That's like the coolest set, honestly. Like, I'd be happy if he was running that one. But I'm just going to go for knock off now because it's just good to get rid of anything's item. And he has, he has pretty weak to knock off, but except for this thing. I doubt he's running speed, so I am going to go for U-turn now. I'm surprised he hasn't even tried to spin yet. Oh, he's running speed, okay. <laughs> Alright. In that case... Maybe I go into Bortastic. Let's do it. Bortastic's coming in. You're gonna go for a superpower. And you still haven't gotten the Shed Skin yet, which really is unfortunate for you. I'll go for the superpower. No reason not to. a jealousy is immune and I could try bluffing the scarf here honestly I think I will I'll go into Q hound because this thing's toxic now like that's fantastic like I got so much of his team toxic the dreadagon is toxic the, I believe the scrafty is still toxic and now the Jellicent is toxic, and now the him on top, whenever it comes in, is also going to be toxic. So I have four, and if he brings in a Delphox before he brings in the him on top to spin, then he, that thing will also be toxic. So like, I have a pretty solid chance of toxicing five out of six of his team members. And I don't see any heal bells or anything on this team either, which is nice. Now he's taking his time, trying to predict me here. Scald is pretty safe, honestly. I don't have much to take a Scald except for Quillfish. And Quillfish is pretty low. So I don't know what he's trying to predict. Goes for the surf, okay. Interesting. I think I'll just get spikes up at this point. Yeah, like I'll go down to the surf, but at least I get a spike up. And now. The moment you've all been waiting for. really quite going to peaches yet because I don't want to be taking that rough skin rocky helmet I think now might be my opportunity to go into Mavis because I'm pretty sure I could take a surf fairly well and a Draco would probably KO this thing let's do it why not that's why Norvin's here Norvin's here to bust some stuff mm. Alright, let's, let's drop a Drake on this fool. And he switches into the Tipsy Turvy, which gets po Toxic Poison and doesn't die to the Draco. So it looks like he might be able to get a spin off unless I can get him with the Air Slash. I'm going to try it. Get a flinch. Okay, he does get the spin off, which is pretty decent, honestly, because I did manage to toxic the Jellicent, the Dredagon, and the Scrafty, even though the Scrafty will have shed skin. But I guess he was just waiting for my Quillfish to go down, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, I'll just air slash again to take out this thing. And I think, I'm pretty sure even if I miss, 
he'll die. He might die. To, no, he won't die to toxic yet. But he does pull the switch into this thing and takes us clean 30% from that air slash. And now we'll just go back into Fuxy. He knows I don't have taunt anymore, but I do have trick. Goes for the dazzling gleam. I can eat that up. And we'll go for a knockoff. Maybe. Goes for the air slash and misses as I go for the knockoff, which is 50%, and we knock off his life orb. So I do, I appreciate this guy. He's running the cool set. Uh, he's probably going to KO me with that air slash. But at this point, I have nothing really to lose. Okay, pulls a switch into the Scrafty. That's fine by me. You'll take more toxic damage. And your shed skin still doesn't activate. I'm going to click U turn. You're probably going to KO me with a knockoff. Or you have rest. That makes sense because you have a, a shed skin set. Alright, Portastic, let's go. I'm gonna just go for superpower again, no reason not to really. Like, even if the Jellison comes in, I'm not too scared of it. Because it's gonna take some toxic damage. Okay, it's gonna stay at the same because it has leftovers. But let's see, will a wild charge... How, how is a wild charge gonna affect this thing? Oops. <laughs> well, I'll block out this part of it. I don't know why it's going to uh, Google Chrome now, as it because it used to just like pop up, you know. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, I think I'll just block all of this out because I don't want you guys seeing my desktop and all the stuff I've got going on there. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Well, I will just quickly pull this into a full screen mode. Okay, we are back. Oh god, why is this taking so long? Why didn't it just do the thing? Okay. Embor. I'm running basically the same spread as the Choice Scarf set, but I'm running a Soul Vest. Ah, man, I need to get some allergy medication. Because it's spring is in full force and my nose is running and you can hear it in my voice. But we are up against a Jellicent. Let's assume it's specially defensive. My, I was thinking it was kind of offensive, so I think it might just be like HP invested. Wild Charge is not even going to KO, so that's not good. But it will KO with Toxic, but I don't want to take a Surf. So I'm going to bluff the Scarf again and go into Uxy. And probably just Sack. And he goes for the... Well, it was really? I could have definitely just KO'd right there. That's so unfortunate. But I can go for a knockoff here. He's might, he's probably just going to want to stay in and try to KO me. Okay, now he pulls the safer switch into this, and I will actually be able to knock off that Rocky Helmet, which will be nice because I won't be taking as much damage anymore. And I can go into Mavis and drop another Draco. And pretty much get a kill. Yeah, doing it. Might just stay in hoping that I miss, but I really hope I don't miss. I believe in Mavis. Mavis is a champ. Mavis doesn't miss. Right, Mavis? You don't miss. Because getting rid of this thing will open up a lot of more uh, sweeping opportunity for my uh, Verizion later down the line. Like, the Sigilyph is at a low enough point that I'm not really afraid of anymore. The only problem would be the Delphox afterwards. Okay, switches into the Jellison. Awesome. I can just go for another move here and probably KO. Go for an Air Slash. Uh, and this opens up a lot more opportunity for my Embor now. I do have Sucker Punch, do I? I, f I think I might have Sucker Punch for the Delphox, actually. I might even just be able to come in 
at some point with Embor and just win right now. Oh, okay, into the Delphox to take the Air Slash. Interesting, I'm gonna pull a switch into Mellow Hype because I know I can take a hit. And I do want to hold on to my Noivern because dropping Dracos at this point is just like free kills. Goes for the flamethrower and we don't eat it up, but we do pretty okay. And it will outspeed if it's scarfed and it, we didn't see an item. But we can hope. I'm going to click Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. Nice. Goes for the solar beam. Not bad. Gets a crit to, and gets my choice scarf. Not bad. Not bad. Crap. Does that mean you're locked in a solar beam? <laughs> I hope so. I do have sucker punch though. I could try it. I really hope this works. Scarf Delphox now. So I am gonna just probably sack Peaches here. Oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> he has two resting Pokemon. That's like literally the worst thing that could have happened. Well, I'll click Swords Dance and see if how much I can get up to if I can try to kill this thing. Hopefully it's not Sleep Talk. And I just realized I moved the mic from my mouth, so hopefully that didn't affect how well you guys hear this. But he doesn't have Sleep Talk. So I can get another Swords Dance up. He stays asleep again. And I can just click Sacred Sword. It should be doing a nice amount of damage. Oof! Oh, he still has the Rocky Helmet because I died to while knocking off his Rocky Helmet. And now I bring in Mavis and I drop another Draco. And something dies. <sighs> yeah, Sucker Punch, but I live it. And I miss! Are you kidding me? Mavis, why? Mavis, why? Alright, Bortastic, I have to switch into you now because I have to avoid the Sucker Punch. Oh my god. That is so unfortunate. I don't take any recoil from Sucker Punch. Anything some scarfed, so. Out of my sight. Oh. <laughs> well, he is in range now that Wild Charge will KO. Out of my sight. And it's disabled, that's fine because Wild Charge is not useful for anything else on his team. Useful for the. Sigilyph, but Sucker Punch is more useful. Alright man, what you got, huh? What you got for this thing? That thing. I got Sucker Punch for this thing. Nice. Nice. I would have gone into the Scrafty so I could force the superpower and lower my attack. That's what I that's what I would be thinking right now. Maybe to combine that with the hitmon on top as well. Oh, it just goes right into this thing. Which I can superpower. I think superpower is my best play. Because Flare Blitz is resisted. I don't want this thing having a chance to live. 
and I take Rough Skin Rocky Helmet, and I get the attack and defense drop, but I can just sack Noivern at some point to just give myself a free, free like heal up myself, reset my stats, my drops. doesn't have intimidate so does it outspeed me oh, I think it does yeah, I do have to save this thing it's sportastic goes for the fake out that's good that's good might be in sucker punch range now I'm gonna try it at least. Ah, he has mock punch. But he'll go down to toxic at least. And I might be able to pull off the win right now. Sucker punch for the Delphox and superpower on the Scrafty. We'll find out. In comes the Scrafty. I'm gonna click superpower. Stays asleep. Superpower KOs and um, sucker punch on the Delphox. I have no reason to try to predict him to do anything else. I know he's choice scarfed, so I have to sucker punch, and that should get me the game. I win. GG. That was <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Bortastic. You are Bortastic, to say the least. Oh my goodness. He's what a nice guy. Uh, I'm gonna tell him this will be on YouTube later today. Check it out at youtube.com user slash David Dreamer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this will be up later today. Yeah, man. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm going to pause until we get another one, so we'll be right back. What's up, David Dreamers? We're back with another battle. This guy's got an extremely bulky team. I do like seeing it when all the Pokemon are at the same like height, you know? Let's see, he's got an Excel Gore lead, which probably outspeeds me, but I can taunt him still, even if I let him get up one spike. <laughs> and Toxic Spikes are actually going to be extremely useful against this guy. I taunt him, that'd be nice. I still have my Focus Sash, so he won't be able to KO me. Goes for Energy Ball, and I can take that. <clears throat> and I might be able to get up too, except for that defense drop, honestly. Hmm, is it worth it to try to save Q Hound and get up another toxic spike later? Bortastic's not going to be that useful against this guy's team because he does have a Rhyperior, a Seismitoad, another Embor, and a Camerupt as he pulls the switch into his Tangrowth. That's exactly what this thing is useful against, so. <laughs> um, no reason not to click Flare Blitz here. You could pull a switch, but damage on anything will be nice, so. I'm just going to go for it. He does pull the switch into his Excelgore, and I think 
that dies now because of the poison. So that's perfect. So he won't be able to get up any more spikes, and I can come in at some point and get up my my second toxic spike without. Although, yeah, I, I still have a fear of getting KO'd, but I don't know. At least I don't have to worry about that thing anymore. And he definitely thinks I'm scarfed. Definitely thinks I'm scarfed. So I might take advantage of that and just try to click superpower here. Just to weaken this thing. Do I need to risk it? I think I kind of do, actually. I think we need to go for it. Just why not? He's probably going to want to set up rocks. I think he might. Oh, he goes for rock polish. He's already faster than me, so I don't care. <laughs> and I might be able to take him out with a sucker punch here. And that's provided if he wants to stay in. But I will go for it. Just in case. No reason not to, really. Boom, get out of my sight. Yes, Bortastic. I didn't think it was going to be putting in that much work, but it's already taken out two Pokemon, so I, like, don't even... Never, never question Bortastic. Like, never. <laughs> that's what you That's what you get putting the EVs in to your Embor. You get a lot better results. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't understand that reference, in my last Showdown Live, which I think I uploaded yesterday, actually, I, kind of, I realized in the third battle like mid third battle that I had completely forgotten to put EVs into my Embor so pretty unfortunate uh, the, uh, I think I'm gonna go into Fuxy here ooh I feel a sneeze coming on gonna fight it gonna fight it gonna fight it alright he goes Mega and we avoid the earth power which is perfect I don't know. I do want to try to get in here with my my uh, Q Hound. I don't think I could take a spikes damage and a fire blast or a flamethrower. <sighs> and I'm pretty sure a flamethrower is coming. I don't have much for this, honestly. Alright, I'm just gonna try it. Just go and cancel U turn instead. <laughs> Get some damage. At least. Oh, damn, it didn't connect. But. And we miss a fire blast, maybe. Oh, goes for a rock slide, and he gets a crit. Fair enough, I won't be able to get up my second toxic spike, but at least I'll have one toxic spike up, which is not bad. But now what do I do? I think I'll try to go into Mellow Hype and just see how much damage I could do. I think I could take a hit and also deal a lot of damage. Oh my god, that did nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> I might be able to get a higher roll here. It did 31% before and he's at 32 now. So I think it's worth trying. Might not be. Okay, it is worth trying. So he goes down. And I will be able to save Melohype later because it is Scarfed and it will outspeed his Scarf Embor. Ooh. <laughs> Speaking of, I can just go into my own Embor because I don't really need my own Embor anymore. I still have Air Slash and Draco Meteor on Mavis for his um, Tangrowth, which is the only thing I'm worried I would think that this is useful for at this point. Um, I'm sure he's scarfed, so I'm just gonna click Superpower. It's probably 
who he pulls a switch into a seismitoa, that's fine, because Super Ferrara does most damage I can do against this thing, which does a lot of damage. My god, Bortastic, calm down. I don't even need you to be doing all this. My goodness, let's go for Sucker Punch now. It's the only way this thing won't just kill us right away. Alright, so that thing dies to poison. Fantastic. Alright. <laughs> And I can't go into Mavis. And I don't know if that might be kind of risky at this point. I can go into Fuxy to be safer. Fuxy's my pivot. You can kind of like take a hit and then U-turn. Okay, it doesn't go into the Tango, so it would have been great to go into Mavis, actually. But I'm just going to click Knock Off here. See what we got, what we're working with. Okay, it's Assault Vest, so we know it's all attacking. It's an attacking Tangrowth. Uh, I will U-turn into my... What's it called? Viruzion, because Viruzion's not going to be helping me out. He's got a Tangrowth and an Embor, and that I can do nothing against that. But I can probably take a hit. I'll get the attack bonus from the knockoff. And I'll probably be able to do a nice amount of damage, actually. i just click Sacred Sword. Maybe he's not running defense investment, so okay, Tangrowth is, gets to die. And I will just stay in against his Embor. It's probably Scarf, so it'll probably KO me. But then, at this, at, if he takes recoil and poison damage, I can probably come in with Mellow Hype and outspeed and hit him with a side shock. So this game's looking pretty wrapped up. It's like, like snack wrap. Okay, so he is. We do see the Scarf set. He takes a nice. 22, 23% because he took 13 from that poison, so. Uh, Mellow Hype, please. Actually, this is like my only chance to do this, so hopefully it works. Yeah, it'd be pretty dumb if I choke this away right now. But we can click Psy Shock, and I think if I don't KO, I can at least bring him down to the point where poison will KO. Okay, so we get him KO, good. So that's a good game, a lot quicker and faster than that other game but still a good game and I think that is enough for this time because it has been over half an hour now and we did get two nice battles in so guys that's classy Friday today I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to click that like button if you did because your support does not go unnoticed make sure to leave a comment down below suggesting move sets or something anything especially you want me to do on a episode of classy Friday or anything really because I make sure to read every comment and try to reply to every comment uh, because I care about you guys you guys are awesome uh, we have made it to 85 subscribers which is so cool because we're on that road to 100 and I will do something extremely awesome when we get to 100. I haven't figured out what yet, but we will. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do. Make sure to boost us all the way to 100 because that would be so cool. And other than that, guys, make sure to keep an eye out for more Pokemon content. And until then, keep dreaming, guys. I'll see you then. Peace out.